Pets, welcome to Get Smoke Money. My name is Arya. Today I came up with three superhero books. And Oh, there's a superhero in your book. The book is by Matt Clark. It was the middle of the day, and Pat the Bat could not sleep. He was bored of hanging around in the dark cave. He wanted to be special, like the superheroes in his favorite comics. And then, it hit him. Pow! Pat had a great idea and set to work. It was not easy using Mom's sewing machine. And his wings kept getting in the way. Keep the noise down. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat -tat. rat a tat tat But after a couple of hours, his outfit was ready. Super bad. When the other bats woke up, they were all surprised. I'm Super Bat, said Pat. Wow, said Gary. So what are your super powers? I have super hearing, boasted Pat. So do we, his friends screeched. Good point, muttered Pat. All the other bats gathered round to see Super Bat. Can you lift a car with your mighty muscles, asked Gary. Or shoot laser beams from your eyes, added Glenda. Well, no, said Pat, his voice wobbling a bit. But I can fly. He leapt into the air. We can all fly, the other bats chuckled. What else can you do? Pat tried to think of another super skill. skill. He felt like every bat in town was staring at him. He was very nervous. Err, I have echolocation, which means I can find my way in the dark. Ha ha ha! The bats all laughed. That's nothing special. We can all do that. Pat trudged off home. His wings dropped. His ears flopped. He did not feel special anymore. I'm just a normal bat in a silly outfit, he sighed, trying not to cry. Just as Pat was about to rip off his suit, a cape and cape and throw them away, his supersonic hearing picked up a faint cry. Help! On the other side of town, a big bad cat had trapped a family of mice. Pat's wings spread out. His ears perked up. He bravely flew across the city as fast as his little wings could carry him. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Or I think it's a bat in a funny little costume. Pat swooped in fur in like a blur of fur. The big bad cat took a swat, but he missed super bad. Pat dived back down again and flopped his wings really fast. Wham! and scared the cat away. The mice were free. You saved us, they cried. Thank you, but who are you? Oh, masked crusader. My hero! 
Pat smiled modestly. Me? I'm no one special. Oh, yes, you are, cried his bat friends, who had followed past Pat across town and seen his heroics. You do have su a superpower. Courage. You truly are a... Super bat! And as Pat flew back to the bat cave for a good day's sleep, with his friends behind him all the way, he really did feel rather special. Bat facts. There are more than... 1,000 types of bats. Some feed on insects, some on fruit or fish. The most well-known are vampire bats, which feed on blood. Yuck. Bats can live to a ripe old age of 20. Bats are amazing, but you don't see us often because we are nocturnal. That means we only come out at night. We see in the dark using a skill called echolocation. We make little noises and wait for the sound to bounce off things in front of us. Our big ears then pick up the echo. And we move out of the way. That's why all bats are super. The end. There's a superhero in your book. Whoosh! What was that? It's a superhero. Wow, there's a superhero in your book. And he's here to save your book from... The Scribbler! Oh no, the Scribbler is scribbling all over your book with her crayons. Let's see if superhero superpowers can stop her. How about super strength? Power up superhero super strength by lifting the book high in the air. Then turn the page. Oh dear, the scribbler has scribbled a big, strong gorilla in your book. I don't think superhero super strength is strong enough to take on a big, strong gorilla. You better turn the page quickly. Let's try something else. I know, water. Concentrate really hard to help superhero wash the scribbler away. One, two, three. The scribbler scribbled herself an umbrella just in time. Splash! What will she scribble next? Oh no, she scribbled some nasty scribble bad guys. We'll have to get rid of them quickly. Or your book will be full of scribbles. I know. Maybe Superhero can use Super Speed. Tap all the scribbles quickly to power up Superhero's Super Speed. Okay, let's tap them. Tap, 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 tap. Wow, great tapping. But uh-oh, what's happening on the next page? Oh no, the scribbles were even faster than Superhero. And now they've captured all his friends. Help! 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 What can we do? Maybe Superhero can reach over and untie them by being super stretchy. Stretch your arms out as far as you can. To show Superhero how to do it. Mm. Yay. Well done. Now turn the page. Ow. Oh dear. He's all stretched out of shape. 
poor superhero. Why don't you blow a super kiss to make him feel better? Ah, that's much better. Your kindness has made superhero feel all super and warm inside. That's it. The strongest superpower of all isn't super strength, water powers, super speed, or super stretching. The greatest superpower is something we all have inside: super kindness. Let's all blow the scribbler a kiss. It worked. Your super kiss and the power of being kind. Have melted the scribbler's meanness. Wow, I like how his eyes turn into hearts. And ding ding, he's asleep. And that's all. And all the friends are free. Good job, superhero. Now that the scribbler isn't mean anymore, it's time for her to fly away and do some nice scribbling somewhere else. Like a coloring book, whoosh! The book around in the air to charge up superhero super flying power. Ready? One, two, three! Whoosh! Off they go into the world. I hope superhero comes back to help fix the big hole he's made. He made a hole and zap. I'll try. Superhero Gran. All Gran must rock, but we know one who's better than the rest. We call her our superhero Gran. And she's the best. She lives in an an amazing house that's awesome to explore, where all kinds of toys and games spill out of every drawer. She helps us dress up in her glasses, scarves, and coats and hats. Our disguises are so sneaky that we even fool her cats. You guys know this is him. That's her. But do you know why she's taller over here? Cause she's standing on this stool. Then from her makeup table, she takes. Lipstick, powder. Uh oh, the house is powdery. Cream. And look at us! Kapow! We make a superhero team. And they have their own pet cats. She has a wondrous cookie tin. That's always filled with treats, and we, and we never hear her say, "Now don't fill up on sweets." Wow. She tells us funny stories, and her games are just the best. Our favorite one is called the Tickle Monster Test. She's very good at gardening. She loves her plants and flowers. They're great for playing hide and seek. Gran can't find us for hours. Oh no! We know she can't lift buildings or go whooshing through the sky, but she's our hero. Just the same, and here's the reason why. When it's time to go back. Home, 
but we want to stay with Gran. So Mom and Dad might both say no. Our Gran will have a plan. She'll call up Mom and Dad and say they simply have to stay and have a super sleepover to end our super day. Oh, Gran, we say, how do you do the super things you do? She loves, she says, because I love you so. Hey, her shadow's looking like this. Cool. My superhero too. The end.